Oh my gosh, powder donuts sound so good right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we are going to be doing a full like head of first impressions. It still says unboxing behind me on the chalkboard here but we're, we're just gonna ignore that. I may or may not have ran out of my Mr. Clean sponge to get the chalk off so it's just gonna it's just gonna stay there. But today I am going to be doing a full like head of first impressions. That's why my hair is all lovely and put back up. I'm going to be testing out a new hair dryer today. I do want to go ahead and just warn you guys just a little bit that my hair is very thin and it does not look the best when it's wet. I would say that me and Gollum probably share very similar like hair patterns. If you're not familiar with Gollum, he is the adorable little creepy dude on Lord of the Rings with like a strange relationship with a piece of jewelry. This is a little bit scary for me because I've never actually shown my wet hair on camera before so here we go. <laughs> Okay, good. It's not that wet anymore, so it doesn't look too terrifying, but it is uh, very rapidly falling out. So today I'm going to be trying the Chi Nano hair dryer. This was gifted to me by Froke Systems. And this has like a little blue light inside of it that is supposed to clean the inside of your hair dryer to make the air cleaner as you blow dry your hair. That's something I've never thought of before that I was blow drying my hair with dirty air, but it is very interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair a little bit. I got a lovely little new brush here that I'm gonna be trying out. This is the Chi Turbo Brush and then I'm going to spray my hair with just a little bit of this Iron Guard just to protect it from the heat. Alrighty, so here I have my hair dryer. I'm going to go ahead and turn this puppy on and see what it can do. Here's me showing you the blue light inside the hair dryer and also forgetting that hair dryers produce hot air. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so my first impression of the hair dryer is that it dried my hair very, very fast and it feels pretty darn smooth. I'm gonna hit it with just a spritz of this Enviro 54 hairspray to keep the hair out of my face and then we'll move on to makeup. Alrighty, so moving on into makeup, I have like a basket here full of stuff. I kind of just put things here when I buy it or receive it so I can try it out and then um, I entirely forgot about the basket because I have the memory of the rock. So I I haven't tried anything in this basket here. I'm really hoping there's enough to do an actual full face, but we'll see when we get into it. So the very first thing I'm going to try out is this primer here. This is from Guerlain. This is the Laure Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. I guarantee you this primer is fancier than I will ever be. Oh, yep, look at that. Well, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's very, very pretty. It's nice and shiny and gold. So this right here is supposed to make my my face looks satin and smooth. Ooh, it's very, very liquidy. I wasn't expecting that. Can oh no. <laughs> I'm trying to show you the gold shimmer, but it's running away. Anywho, there are uh, golden flakes in here. It's much, much more liquidy than I expected it to be. It has a pretty intense smell. I'm not gonna lie, it's very, very strong. All right, so it does look like it smoothed out my skin just a bit. It's a little bit tacky right now, but I guess that's like, you know, to help your makeup stick. This primer was gifted to me by Girl On, but I wanna make sure I give you guys a fully accurate review. I'm gonna slap a little bit more on my nose area. I feel like I neglected it just a bit. All right, my foundation is at the bottom of this basket here, so I'm going to very carefully retrieve it. So for foundation, I'm going to try this from Jouer. This is the Essential High Cover Cream Foundation. I bought this as soon as it was released. Like, I was like, ooh, a new foundation. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do a review. And then I put it into my to try basket and I completely forgot about it. So this will be the very first time I try it out. This came out not too long ago and I got mine in the shade Porcelain. Oh, wow. Just looking inside the bottle here, it's like extremely liquidy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a few shakes. The brushes I'm gonna be using today have come from AOA Studios. These are like $1 brushes. I got these from Shop Miss A literally forever ago. Again, I was gonna do a video about these, but you know. I'm gonna see if I can use this flat top brush in here to try to apply this foundation with. I'm just gonna pump this directly on my face and see how it goes. It is super duper liquidy. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the smell of the foundation or the smell of the brush, but it smells like a like a plastic beach ball. <laughs> That's a very, very plasticky scent. I'm not 100% sure about this brush either. It's a little bit too like wobbly wibbly. 
For my taste, I prefer a bit of a more like a sturdy foundation brush. The foundation itself, I'm actually not minding so far. It might not be exactly my color. I'm looking a little bit banana yellow, but the coverage seems to be pretty nice. Foundation is done and I think I like how it applied. It's like pretty matte looking and very like full coverage, which is nice. I probably would have preferred to apply it with like a beauty blender or something because I just like sponges better. I'm not 100% sure about the shade. I'm looking a little like if we do the double chin test here. It's not quite accurate, but that is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set this, even though it does look pretty matte, with this e, e I say it wrong every time. I done or E done minerals setting powder. This is the loose mattifying mineral powder. And to do that, I'm going to be using this AOA F21 brush. I'm not gonna bake my face or anything because I don't I don't know exactly how to. I'm just gonna dust this on a little bit just to set the foundation. This does seem to be really translucent though. I don't see it changing the color of the foundation too much, which is nice. <sighs> I just created like a toxic cloud. Okay, next up in here, I'm gonna dig through and see if I can find some face stuff. I have a couple of things from Profusion, which I think might work out. Yes, okay, so here I have a Profusion Eye and Cheek Palette. I have not tried this or even opened it. Oh dear. This right here is technically a blush, but I'm gonna try to use it as like bronzer. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think that's my only option because I don't have any new bronzers to test out. Oh wait, yes I do actually. So another Profusion palette here. I have a couple more options here. Actually, these two, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh look, another bronzer, but no, these are actually the same exact color. So this is Lush and I'm just gonna use it as bronzer. I'm gonna use the AOA Studio in F22 to try to bronze with. Okay, at first I was like, yeah, yeah, this looks like bronzer, but now that it's on my forehead, it's a little bit more pink than I was assuming it would be, even though it's a blush. Okay, now for actual blush, I'm going to be using this breathtaking blush right here in the palette. And I'll give this AOA Studio F24 a go. This is a bit smaller than I would typically choose for blush, but it's my fluffiest option. Okay, we got a little bit of like a clown cheek happening right now because the blush isn't fluffy enough, at least for me. So I'm just gonna use the powder brush I used before and dip back into the blush and apply probably way too much of it. Miraculously, everything is fine, and I actually think the blush turned out pretty okay. I think that Profusion is a decently cheap brand. I think I've seen their stuff at like TJ Maxx even. So, so far, I'm kind of liking what's happening. Next up, I'm going to be using the Strobe and Glow for some highlight. Alrighty, so these are the highlight options. The shiniest looking ones kind of look a little bit too deep for me, so I'm gonna try one of these over here. Mm, actually, after some quick swatches, I'm not really getting the type of like shiny highlight I want out of these three over here, so I'm gonna try this heartfelt one in the middle and go for like a peachy look. To use the highlight, I'm going to be using the F25 out of the little pack I have over there. Alrighty, so it is working. It's coming through a little bit. It's a bit of a more powdery highlight than I would typically go for. Ooh, it looks actually pretty shiny on that side. Okie dokie, so the highlight is done. Now I need to move on to the eye area, and I don't believe I have any eyebrow products in here, or at least I don't think so. So I don't have any eyebrow products, but I think this Profusion Naturals palette here might have something that would work for my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, leg cramp, leg cramp, oh, leg cramp, leg cramp, leg cramp. <laughs> I was just leaning forward to try to get a brush and my legs started cramping so bad. Apparently so bad that I couldn't even say the words leg cramp. My little AOA set does not have an angle brush in it so I'm going to use an angle brush that I've used before and I think I'm going to use Cozy over here to fill in my brows. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Upon further inspection of my makeup trying to put in my eyebrows here, I'm seeing that I'm looking a little bit wrinkly. Around my mouth and stuff, like in my laugh lines and like my mustache laugh line, I'm seeing quite a bit of wrinkling. I don't know if that is the foundation or if that's the powder or that's the two mixed together, but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a close up here to see what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing wrinkling right here around my laugh lines and then like this strange line at my upper lip. I don't even know how that gets there. I feel like I have to like make this face in order to be able to get that line up there, but there's like some wrinkling happening here. My forehead is also looking a bit 
bit dry and wrinkly as well. Um, I also somehow forgot to mention the glaringly bad under eye creasing. So I'm thinking maybe those two together, since they are kind of mattifying, maybe I shouldn't wear the combination of that foundation and powder again. Alrighty, now that all of this is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this little palette here. This came out not too long ago. I've seen that many people have done videos on it, and I ordered it like as soon as it came out with full intention of doing like an entire review and like stuff. And then what happened? Well, I completely forgot, of course. So this is the Maybelline New York Lemonade Craze Palette. And it looks a little bit like this. I guess that one tiny thing of yellow there makes it like lemonade-y. Alrighty, so first here I'm going to use Sherbert, which is very, very, very soft, but also very, very, very powdery. I kind of feel like I just rub my hand on like a powdered donut or something. Oh my gosh, powdered donuts sound so good right now. Next up, I'm gonna take this E135 brush and dip into Sweet Tea here. Okay, so I really like this color, but this brush is not exactly fluffy enough for me. I guess that is the poofiest one in the bunch, so I'm just gonna continue to use it. I am liking the Sweet Tea shade though. It's not super duper pigmented, but I really do like this color. It is a bit fall outy, as you can see, though. It's a little bit powdery around the edges. Now that that is on, I think I'm going to take Old Fashioned here, which is a bit of a deeper brown, and kind of put that in this outer edge. <laughs> what are the parts of the eye called? The outer corner? Outer corner? All right, so it's not quite as deep as I was hoping for. It looks kind of more like a, just a slightly darker sweet tea once it's blended on. I'm gonna try tapping some on with my finger, see if that makes it a little bit darker. Okie dokie, so that is on there. Now I think I'm gonna just gonna go for it here and take some of this Ice Pop, which is a very like strawberry type shade, and just try a little bit of it. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was actually more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I did use my finger though, which I think helped out a bit. Hmm. Uh, I was trying to blend it up into like the shadow I already have on and it definitely did blend away a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, so there is that. I feel like it needs something shiny in the center though. So I think I'm going to go for Strawberry Lemonade over here, which is shimmery and pop that into the center area. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Not quite as shimmery as I was hoping. So I think I'm gonna go back into the concealer and just dab, dab, dab a little bit of that in the center and maybe that'll help it out. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I have Neapolitan ice cream on my eye right now. And unfortunately, it doesn't get too much better looking than this throughout the rest of the video. All right, I'm just dabbing main squeeze over top of that right now because it's the only one giving me just a little bit more sparkle. Since it is the Lemonade palette, I figure I have to use the yellow in some way, so I'm going to use Lemonade Craze down here and put this underneath my lower lash line. Oh man, there's eyeshadow all over my contact now. I'm not really getting the pigment I was hoping for underneath my eye right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try with the damp brush and see if that helps any. Okay, a damp brush definitely did help a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye the same way I did this one, even though I'm not a humongous fan of it, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so since I didn't have an eyeliner to test out, I went ahead and just slapped a random one on. Um, it didn't turn out very evenly, but it hid a good portion of my terrible job putting on eyeshadow, so that's a plus. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't hide all of it. It still looks like I have a terrible case of pink eye or something. I don't know how much of a fan I am with this little palette here. I did like the sweet tea shade. It was a bit powdery, though. Ice Pop, I actually think is kind of pretty, but I think you need to lay down something a little bit sticky for the color to really pop and stay put. I really wish the shimmery colors in this palette were a bit more shimmery, but I'm not exactly the best at putting on eyeshadow anyway, so maybe with a little bit more practice with this, I could get it to look a little bit better and less like um, ice cream. For the lashes, I'm going to be trying the Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I have used the Monsieur Big Regular Mascara a lot. I actually have gone through two tubes of it. This was gifted to me by Lancome, but I am very excited to try out the waterproof version in time for summer. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this on my lashes and see how it goes. Mascara is done. I like it. It did separate my lashes nicely. It didn't get super clumpy or anything. They're not exactly as voluminous, I think, as the other like regular monster big mascara <laughs> makes them, but I still like how it went on. Now I'm going to try to find a lipstick in this mess. <laughs> and that, oh dear. And that should conclude the first impressions video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try out these liquid lipsticks here. And these are actually pretty cool. These are from Solo Look, and these are Saved by the Bell liquid lipsticks. I just think that's really cute. I think I'm going to try out Jessie really quick here and see what it looks like. Oh, 
Okay, first off, it smells like frosting. It smells really, really good. But secondly, whoa, <laughs> my lips look like a mirror. So this is super pretty and very, very pigmented, but I don't think it's going with the ice cream look I have on my lids right now. So I'm gonna try something else. Okay, so I just found this in the bottom of the basket. This is a CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil. And I don't, I don't think I've ever tested this before. So I'll go ahead and give it a try. So this is like literally just an oil with like a tiny, tiny bit of tint to it. It's a very subtle color, but I think that might be needed with what's going on my eyes right now. <laughs> So you guys, I think this is it. I'm feeling a little bit summery, a little bit peachy, so it's a bit different for me, but I think it looks okay. I'm not 100% happy with how the eyes turned out. I ended up liking how the foundation looks on most of my face. On my more wrinkly bits, it's kind of like settling into my lines and stuff, but again, that could be the mixture of the mattifying powder and the foundation, so I feel like I need to give it another try before I can really say if it is making me like extra wrinkly. But that is everything. That is the entire look. I hope this video wasn't too incredibly boring. I feel like it was just a little bit on the boring side. Very, very sorry about that. But I really wanted to get through like my entire basket here because looking at it gave me anxiety. <laughs> so I am happy to have gone through my little basket here. Let me know what you guys thought of all the products inside and the look. Would you like to see more videos like this where I try out new things, do some more makeup tutorials, that kind of stuff, even if they don't turn out very good? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. But just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!